<laughs> Meanwhile, back on Delos. What are you doing? Taking bacon selfies? Cruiser already? life is funny, man. I'm sitting here and <laughs> Rick's chatting with me on Facebook, and then all of a sudden a plate of bacon shows up at the side of the boat. He's like, how do you like that bacon? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. I think we're almost ready to go, though. What's the plan for today? Uh, we're gonna move around the corner to a place called Hidden Harbor, Secret Cove, something like that, and anchor. Show Maureen and Eric what a little bit of anchor life is like, and just chill, maybe do some swimming. Cool. That's the only plan. Sounds good to me. Let's check my upload. Ninety-three percent. Is it? This is off the marina from the Wi-Fi, or Wi-Fi from the marina, and we get it at the boat, and I started this upload like 12 hours ago. Six gigs, 94%. So we're pretty much free once that's done. Previously on Delos, our crew contest winners, Eric and Marine, join us for one hell of a sail to Grenada. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> we haven't seen weather like this in a long time. There are 40 knots of wind. Are you excited to go sailing? I am. I really, really am. Nice. Jump in the water. Yeah, and hopefully I can steer the boat and my brain will be working this today, time. Today is the day. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I always wanted to do this. This is it. a little dream come true right now. A little bit. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm like a little kid right now. <laughs> Here we go. We got the net up. Da, 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 da. down. Nice. It looks good up there. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. It's a cool flag. Here we go. Is everybody on board? We're gonna go out here. Not like this, and in like this. Not very far. Short trip. Are you ready? You got to wait for the sun to come along. All your fantasies pointed death things you can't see Your kitchen, your sofa, you want to be free Tell me what do you want? What do you need to see? Your dreams are your reality Let's leave everything and go traveling See what tomorrow brings It's only a choice of Did you have fun sailing Dulles? Oh, it's incredible. 
I think we just tacked more times in that one hour than we did in the, our entire crossing off the Atlantic. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Uh, and <laughs> it's fun though, you know, and especially you have a crew on board and yeah. you get to you get bounce like back high, and forth. Kind of. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm like totally pumped right now. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's keep those endorphins flowing. Yes. Time to jump in the water. We have a guest chef in the gallery this morning. Mm, don't take a picture of the pancakes, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> They're burnt and Look mangled. Look at that. Look at They're that. They're burnt and mangled. Canadian pancakes. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Real Canadian maple syrup. How, How did you guys did. sleep last night? No problem sleeping on the couch? No. Yep. Yeah. The sofa? Don't have All to good. worry about rolling out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, it was super comfy and perfect temperature, and we're, we got a hunger on this morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we had a little party last night with the Rickster. It's time for a disco dance. The pancakes brought the crew back to life, and we decided to check out the underwater world of Grenada. We met Jordan and Nate, who were crewing on Sophisticated Lady. They're avid divers and arranged a scuba dive with a local aquanaut shop for us. I know I asked you guys yesterday, but why don't you tell me again kind of what your story um, is? Um, when I, my name, ooh, start over. <laughs> my name's Jordan. This is my man, Nate. Yeah. And we are scuba diving instructors. Um, we also have a YouTube channel and we like to sail and dive and travel and yeah. what's the name of your channel? Things. Our channel is called Drenched. Cue the logo. Cue the logo. Cue logo. Oh, yep. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> nice. But yeah, so our channel, it's about sailing too. We don't have our own boat, but we've been fortunate to have some cool sailing opportunities on other people's boats. Um, but mostly we also love the scubas, so that's what we like doing. Yeah. All, nice. all started land based, and yeah, we do a lot of land activities, fly over the world, doing the craziest dives we can think of, and yeah, it's fun. Cool. We're all for scuba, that's our thing. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. And you guys are coming with us today. Yeah. 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 And it's pouring. <laughs> so we're we're like sort of here, and our intention is to go out through the reefs around to Prickly Bay. We'll anchor there, and then we'll take the dinghy across to True Blue. That's yeah. where their dive shop is. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we go to the dive shop, the and we take their boat somewhere. Yeah. You got there, babe. We're getting ready to make the Caribbean debut of the Viper Trident, the official metal detector sponsor of here at Nugget Nation. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I bought this thing a while ago on an impulse, and we decided it'd be a good idea to pack this thing down to the Caribbean. So we're gonna go see if we can find some pirate treasure or sunken. How rich are we gonna be? We're gonna be so rich. Yeah, let's put the headphones on the mic and see if it'll. Okay. Right. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just fix that in post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be so rich. We didn't find any buried treasure, but Kaza did find this awesome little guy. We have a small leak. <laughs> Look at it. Move your toes. Get it. It's a cute, it's a cute leak. 
Got it, just a little squirt. Cute. Buddy. Okay. Alright. Brian put a rivet below the water line. <laughs> what are we doing? It's pizza night. Pizza. We're gonna go out to celebrate the, everybody's last night. Well, you're leaving tomorrow. But Maureen and Colin are flying out tonight. I can't express how much this experience has been enlightening and pleasurable and a yeah, good sale. everything about it. Thank you very much and thank you for making both Colin and I feel so welcome and and it's just been an amazing, amazing experience. And meeting Eric too and just all of the <laughs> wonderful people. It's just a great connection. So thank you very much you guys. What you're doing is really good. Thank you Maureen and Colin for being such amazing people and for bringing such good vibes onto Dallas. Alright, it's coming down to Eric's last hour on Dallas, so we're gonna get him up the mast before we take him to shore so we can, can fly back home to the US. So you ready to go up? Very. It's gonna be good. How you doing up there, bro? How's the view? Rick, me and Bryce, you're gonna go to the beach, have a beer. Crazy. We'll come back and get you in a while. <laughs> Coming down. There you go, look at him. He's a born sea monkey. Making sound. Was that fun? Hell yeah, it was. Not scared of heights? No, just scared of falling. Scared of jumping from heights. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sudden stop at the end that gets me. Yeah, I'm gonna kiss Delos. <laughs> Is this where the shit comes out? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you though. Thank Man, you for coming. Was, what an thanks. excellent trip. Thanks for having me. We got some sailing in. I did. And we're great. Oh, oh that's learning you know, semen like things. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Yeah, Have that fun, was guys. Good, bro. Take Dude. care. Good salty sailor. Graduated from a motor motor to a salty sailor. That's Congratulations! Right. I would any other way. You can still motor boat on a sailboat though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What a guy. All right. All right. And then there was four. All right, back to the quiet life, huh? Mm-hmm. So we're up super early this morning, or super early, but at like seven, earlier than normal. And because we're up so early, we haven't yet missed the cruiser net. From what I have understood, the cruiser net is basically uh, like the cruiser's news. So you listen to it every morning at like 7.30, I think. And yeah, it just tells you everything you need to know if you're a cruiser around here. What do you think about the cruiser's net? It's actually been a long time since we've been someplace that has a net, so it's pretty exciting to me. To doing weather and tides right now. Um, if anyone could come up with a three-day forecast from underground, that would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, synopsis. Okay, Fred Bryce Stewart, Colin Williams will prevail across the South Central Caribbean through the weekend. Moderate to fresh trades. Expected to continue across the tropical North Atlantic through Sunday. It's very easy. Uh, for the next three days, it's 15 to 20 knots. And the seas, 6 to 8 feet. And on Friday night, the seas drop to 4 to 7 feet. Anyone leaving would like to say goodbye. Please come now. Shameless. Shameless, go ahead. Shameless, uh, Drill and Gary are leading today. We've had a fabulous time in Grenada. <laughs> See, we have the idiot on board today. <laughs> Pleasures of the village, please come down. Come away, come away now! <laughs> <laughs> the guy is just pissing that guy off. So is there bad. someone that's just... Oh, give it away! <laughs> <laughs> um, with the fool that's interrupted in the net, can you identify yourself or are you going to be a coward? <laughs> Next 
commercial activity, please come now. Uh, just to let everybody know that this Sunday on Hog Island, Gilfie, Gary and Joe Mo are back to play some more music. So that's from 3 o'clock on Sunday, Hog Island. As always, great food and drink and a great line. See you then. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Madonna back to 6-8. Thank you, Tom. Excellent job with right. the this morning. Our first cruiser net. With the lowdown on all the cruiser activities going on, we decided to sail on over to Hog Island to see what the local cruiser scene was like. Hey, man, how are you? What's up, man? Enjoying? Everything good? Everything is beautiful. Uh, will you, you guys walk right across? No, we come from the boat just over here. Well, your boat is right yeah, there? Yeah, it's just over there. But you can walk over there, right? Yeah, you can is walk. Is this track there or is it over there? Yeah, yeah, you have a track go here and we have another one. Oh, let's right. take this one. You okay. can go right around. You Maybe I'll take this, this one. Track and you can go right around. Cool. Cool, cool man. We walk awesome. first and then we and then we'll come back and relax. Okay, no problem. <laughs> See you. <laughs> just we've been downgraded. <laughs> we're just regular tourists now. Oh yeah, because we're wearing shoes. And your top is looking very spiffy. Yeah, it's Looks new and fresh, not cruiserly. Turns out this island is a lot bigger than we thought it was. <laughs> it's a really cool walk though. I've really enjoyed just seeing a little bit of it. I think what we're trying to do is find the bridge. So the story with this bridge, supposedly that we heard, is there was a Chinese company that was going to build a resort on this island. And for some reason, the deal fell through. They actually kicked Roger and Roger's bar off the island. They built that bridge, and then they never built the resort. So there's sort of this bridge over here but there's no road connecting it on either side, which is kind of funny. And there's no resort. Here we are at the bridge. We made it. Interesting. We have to go all the way over there. Grenada's location in the very Southern Caribbean has made it a favorite hurricane hole for years. There's plenty of well-protected anchorages. The holding is good, and for the most part, hurricanes tend to pass to the north. Cruising life is pretty easy here. It's one of those places that's easy to sail into, but the longer you stay, the harder it is to leave. And there's some boats around these parts that have been here forever. I'll tell you what, his, his dock is a sunken boat. They've been here a long time, brother. Ain't nobody got time to move. Anybody need a mast? I've never seen so many wrecked boats. This one's called Magnet. I don't know if that's what it's called, but there's a magnet on it. But there is like literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boats as far as the eye can see. I guess it really shouldn't be a surprise because now we're in the Caribbean and we kind of expected there to be a lot of boats, but it's definitely a shock to us because for the last nine months since leaving uh, South Africa, you know, it's most of the time just us. Some of them look like they've been here since like the last hurricane, I think it was Hurricane Ivan, like in 2004, 2005, something like that. And so there's all these boats sort of tied up to the mangroves. Some of them are in varying stages of repair. Some of them actually look like they are either sinking or have already sunk, which is kind of interesting. And they're sort of just left there, still tied into the mangroves. But it looks to be a pretty interesting spot to explore. Rick was telling us that this afternoon, a little bit later, there's going to be some sort of a dinghy concert at La Fair Blue. So the plan is we're going to load up the dinghies, we're going to zoom uh, over there, bring our own beers and our own rum, and then they're supposed to have live music and just sort of a bash uh, on a, a bunch of like floating docks or something like that. Hello, Grenada! Hello, Grenada and our oh, visitors! We're really, 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 really looking forward to this evening's um, set list. And so we hope you enjoy it as well. My name is Vanessa Briggs. And yes, I'm from Canada, Tobago. The first song is a song called In My Father's House. 
It's a red Grenada. <laughs> no man, it's cool. I've never seen a dinghy drive-in concert like this. You know, for years we've been talking about making like a dinghy drive-in movie. Yeah. And of course, somebody else has thought about it because there's a lot of people out there thinking the same cruiser vibes. So this is really cool. We got word that the after party was right where we were anchored at Hog Island. Way too convenient to pass up. What the shit is going on here? So what is this? Riding Spear! Yeah. 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 Come on! Let's go! Come on, let's Come go! On, let's hey! go. hey. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Du kan prata svenska till. Ja, du pratar fan också svenska. Shit, Who's flying it? Not you. He's flying it. Oh, that's crazy. I want to see it too. What, bro? Put it up to the camera. You know, it's like that grenade is a black hole. You just answered. <laughs> you just Hold on, stand by. Wait a second. Wait. No, I can see the screen. Don't worry. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, cheers! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
stop on Delos. We punk Brady's friend at the airport. I'm Papa. You Papa? That's me. <laughs> Holy <laughs> man. Good to see you finally. Matt. How oh, long I've been here? Oh my god. It's been a long day, dude. No kidding, you're late, man. <laughs> and I get taken hostage for my birthday. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? That's something weird. Put me on your head. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up. Okay, go. <laughs> I put you in the wrong throat. <laughs> the wrong throat. <laughs> Do you have a Canadian on your boat now? I'm Canadian. Oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> and uh, really delicious food and a mermaid grabbing your tit. Check it out. Oh. Oh, oh hey, I, I didn't see you there. I was just I was just prospecting. It's what I like to do in the mornings before I go diving. <laughs> Alright, now go ahead. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. Give me that. <laughs> no, that was the Did perfect. <laughs> We've been here for like 10 minutes and Kaza broke the door already. Kaza broke the door. I got this. <laughs> Defective villain. No, I'll call up and see if they got another one. <laughs> uh, okay. You're so cool with your fast boat, don't you? <laughs> You're so special. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> they thought they were so cool with their fast boat. Yeah. <laughs> Take them down a notch. <laughs> <laughs>